Hello! Today I'm going to another makeup tutorial for you. Um, yeah, this time I wanted to go for graphic liner. I'm not sure if I've ever done graphic liner before or just don't remember doing it. Either way, I felt like doing a graphic liner that sort of ties in with spring. I know it's still winter, but... You know, once like the whole holiday period with Christmas and New Year's is over, I just want it to be springtime. Always. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. I did some flowers, which you'll see from up close later, obviously. And some dots asymmetrical because I just think asymmetrical looks look better on me than symmetrical looks. So yeah, let's get started. Today I'm starting out with a uh, cream to powder eyeshadow by Bourjois. Um, this one is pretty old. I don't know if it still actually exists really. Like, well, exists. It's still available in store. Um, but if it isn't, just use whatever burgundy shade eyeshadow you do have. Either cream eyeshadow, normal eyeshadow. Doesn't really matter. Um, really, I just wanted sort of a, yeah, I wanted the color, I wanted something nice in the background, but I didn't want multiple colors simply because, like, the eyeliner is what's supposed to stand out. So, I pretty much just did sort of a pretty subtle smoky eye with this stuff. Also applied this very carefully at the bottom of the eyelid. And then went on to another bourgeois product, which is also really, really old. Um, this is more of a glittery... Loose eyeshadow. Um, if you're also using a loose eyeshadow, uh, do be careful with fallout. I was too lazy to actually grab a napkin or something, so I was just very, very careful with applying it. But yeah, it's a really pretty product. It makes this color sort of deeper and more glittery, as you can see here. Which is really nice. And so I also applied it to the crease to make the crease a little bit darker. But to still keep it... Sort of similar to the eye. And then lastly I also did the exact same thing on the bottom eyelid. Not sure if it's officially called the bottom eyelid, but that's just what I call it. And then to finish off the eyeshadow I used the Catrice Absolute Matte Palette. And I started out with a very extremely pale nude shade um, to highlight the brow bone. It's actually slightly paler than my skin, which is quite a, quite a task. Um, and then I just used Taupe Shake to blend the crease with the um, eyebrow highlight. And then for the inner corner I actually went for a normal face highlighter. This is the High Glow Highlighter by Catrice. Sort of a very, very pale gold shade. I think it suits very nicely with the burgundy. And then I moved on to eyeliner. Uh, what I use is a Catrice Cake Eyeliner simply because I really like... Being able to decide how thick or thin I want the eyeliner to be. Um, this is just mixed with water, so, you know, total control and all. Um, however, if you do this as well, uh, you know, you can just use whatever eyeliner you're the most comfortable with. I don't think a pencil would work, actually, unless it's very creamy and very, very sharp. Um, but a gel liner would work, a normal liquid liner would work, like, you know, just anything really you prefer. And what I did is basically just make a very thin, very, very angled winged liner. And then I added a little flower on the top. Like, literally, this was the point where I decided what I actually wanted to do. Um, yeah, really, like, I, I wanted to do something on the tip of the eyeliner, but I wasn't sure what yet. And the sun was shining, and I was like, I want it to be springtime, so I'm just going to do flowers. And then I decided to put some dots on the crease. And do make sure to put these above your natural crease. Because otherwise, you know, when the eyes are open, it'll be invisible. Which would sort of be a waste. So I do recommend keeping your eyes open for this. And just make sure that it's always visible. And then it looks like that. Then on the other eye, I did the exact same sort of eyeliner. Um... But as I said at the beginning, I prefer things to not be symmetrical. So I decided to do three little flowers on this eye. Instead of one big one. They're really, really simplistic because, well, two reasons. One, it's very, very tiny, so it's sort of hard to get it very detailed. And also the angle is really, really awkward to work in. This is actually something that's, in my opinion, easier to do on someone else. Rather than on yourself, simply because on someone else you can actually... Just face it normally and like, I was really holding my face in a very awkward angle to both see the mirror and make sure that you could still see my face. And on this eye I decided to put the dots below the eye. Um, 
Yeah, it really depends on your anatomy how hard this is. Um, I really had to put them um, like. I'm only 25, but I have sort of, I sort of have wrinkles below my eyes already. Um, so I decided to put them between the wrinkles so they wouldn't get wrinkled. And yeah, I started out with a few dots and then just decided to add some more to make it look more similar to the other eye. And for the waterline, I decided to go for a very dark brown this time, uh, simply because I think black would have been too dark. I really wanted the graphic liner, graphic liner to stand out the most, so yeah. I wanted the waterline to be slightly more subtle, yet still dark. And then I also uh, decided to put some more dots actually on the first eye that I did, just to make it suit a little bit better with the other eye. Um, I think the line on the other eye was a little bit like the line of dots was more rounded. So I decided to just add a second row of dots on this eye. Just very simple black dots. And just made them meet up at the inner corner. Then for mascara I used the Yves Sexy Pulp Mascara in black. Or I think it's called Noir. It's French. Anyway, it's a very nice mascara. Very dark and very... Yeah, just very nice. Um, it makes my lashes look big. You could also use falsies, but personally I don't like wearing falsies, so I just went for this. Then for my cheeks, I used uh, an Essence blush and the Catrice highlight again that I also used on my inner corner. The blush that I used is Autumn Peach by Essence. I'll also put everything I used down below in the description box as usual. But yeah, this one is just a very nice peach shade and it suits with pretty much any eyeshadow color I can think of. Then I also used the highlighter on my cheeks and also on my Cupid's bow. And then it was time for lipstick. Um, I used Maroon by Catrice, which is a very dark nude shade. Um, I wanted to do nude lips, but very natural nude lips on me look sort of awful, really. I don't know, I just think I look very, very mean with pale nude lips. Like, it, it just doesn't suit me at all. Um, so I decided to go for this shade instead, which I really, really love. Like, it's one of my favorite lipsticks, actually. And then that's the final result. It's really easy to do for a graphic liner, um, but I just wanted to do something more easy, I guess, because last week's look was pretty long-winded. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye!